Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. The first thing that is popping in the news, based on information that I am getting from credible source, it is said that some lawsuits are out for some bloggers on social media. And these lawsuits will be coming from Vives Cartel and his legal team. Based on the information that I am getting, these lawsuits are of the defamation of character type. That means persons are either spreading rumors about the artist's name, his likeness, his brand. And whenever you are a brand, you are going to do everything legally to protect that brand. So therefore, whomever is trampling on your name, they are going to either pay monetarily or whichever way that the court finds fits. So people are going to say, then hold on a minute. How Vibes Cartel have so much things by him name, so much allegations, so much accusations, so much hearsay. People, hear what I say. Hearsay cannot be used in courts. It can be used in the court of public opinion. However, in a legal court where it counts, it is not valid information to any sorts of judge or any sorts of jury. So I say this to say that while Vice Cartel was locked up for 13 years, yes, people can make allegations, people can make accusations, people can spread rumors and propaganda because that case did not come to a foregone conclusion. So what that means is that the DJ, the artist, the entertainer did not exhaust all of his legal options to appeal. And we saw that it went to the Privy Council. The Privy Council sent it back to the Court of Appeal. And the Court of Appeal by three judges made a unanimous decision. So what is very important, a person is innocent until proven guilty. So what this means is that even the most demonic, evil, notorious amongst us, it applies to them. And once that person gets vindicated, so for example, Charles, so example, Jeffrey, at a hundred cases, and then beat all hundred, whichever way them beat it, whether through the court, whether through technicality, whether through no case submission. The fact is that, yes, people know so they might do certain things, and yes, they did do certain things, but it was not proven in a court of law. And once that purse is out scotch free, once there is no sorts of case pending on that person as it pertains to that, that means that that person will have the law on their side. They can take legal actions. Legal actions are not just isolated to the bloggers on YouTube and social media. It is also going to be against the people that actually lock them up. So therefore, illegal imprisonments, violation of civil rights, Violation of human rights. However, I doubt that Vice Cartel or his legal team would be silly enough to challenge the state, challenge the system. Because what the system would do in essence is try to find other cases, other instances where the DJ might have been guilty. Where they could take the DJ to court and lock up the DJ. So therefore, like them say, when you're on in the lion's mouth, be very careful how you pull it out. Do not poke the bear or the sleeping lion. So I am sure the fact that he is out, and yes, he and his co-accused did spend 13 or so years of their life in the big yard, but there was evidence. Is it sufficient evidence without a shadow of a doubt? The court did not determine that because we saw that he came out on some sorts of technicality. So therefore, that was not even important. 
the thing is that there cannot be any sorts of double jeopardy. That means that them can't try him again for any sorts of thing as it pertains to lizards. If they them get any new evidence, they should have did what they're supposed to do at that point. So therefore, them fumble the ball. As it pertains to the bloggers, he has all rights because as far as he is concerned and his legal team is concerned, he is a free man. So therefore, whatever allegations and accusations that you are making, especially as it pertains to Lizard, it is as if Lizard did not lose his life. Lizard did not exist. The life of Lizard is not important. It sounds sad, but people, those are the facts as it pertains to legality. So what a defamation case means is that the person's name, the person's likeness, the person's brand, the person's reputation is severely damaged on account of your action, on account of your words, especially if your word actually has weights. If you have a large following of people and if you were compensated monetarily for your words and the things that you said without any sorts of proof, without any sorts of merits. Merit means it loses merits. The fact that he was exonerated the fact that he was released by the panel of three judges that pretty much fling out the case never to exist anymore. What this also means is that at that point, whatever allegations, accusations and claims that you had, those no longer carried any sorts of weight. So therefore, yes, you can have an opinion, but you cannot make that opinion. Seems as if you have more facts and you know and you did dead. If you were there, you should have spoken at that point at the trial. You should have made yourself available to be some sort of witness, key witness that is. So therefore, you just attack, lose lips, lose life, lose money, defi defame people, brand, name and reputation. Even if that person is known to be some sort of demon, some sort of evil or criminal character, the fact that they were properly, fully freed, it means that you cannot be making these claims and assertions anymore. So therefore, that is why you would get some sort of defamation of character. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you are defaming somebody's character, reputation, name and brand, they will usually reach out to you and say, listen, cease and desist. That means stop immediately. Or we are going to take it to the furthest extent of the law. We are going to sue you monetarily. However, you notice Vice Cartel and Isaac Buchanan have not mentioned anything act as if they did not hear, they did not see or hear the noise in the markets. Them are focused because they knew exactly what they were going to do. So therefore, it was only inevitable. So I say this to say that if it was just a little man attack on the streets and him not carry any sorts of weights. However, if you are a big media house, if you are a top blogger, if you're a top personality on social media that they feel is making money, can prove that I'm making money, can prove that your motive was to talk about this person for monetary gain if you had evidence or not. If those evidence could not be proven, that means uh, it is invalid, it is without merit and it should stop. Immediately after that person walked out of the jail. So therefore they had an option to send some sorts of cease and desist. But what I think they are doing is making this person put them foot further down in their mouths. So the more that that person speaks is the more information that they are gathering incriminating this person. So therefore when they go to courts. They are going to have all the evidence, all the video and picture proof, 
all the voice notes, everything that that person said that cannot be proven, was not proven. And if the court, which is the highest courts on the land that have the most say so, not the court of public opinion or the court of popularity, if that court finds that this person have some sort of vindictive feeling, this person was talking without any sorts of merit, especially after that person buck or beat the case, whether it is technicality, whether the judge makes some sort of mistake, whether it was prosecutorial misconduct, whatever the case is, the fact that he is free is the fact that you should stop cease and desist without getting a cease and desist order. So therefore, they are not even going to give you any sorts of credit by saying that they want to take it to the fullest extent of the law. Now, people, here's the thing. As it pertains to people upon social media, most of these sites, you have to give information, whether it is a driver's license, whether it is a passport, whether it is a TRN. Some sort of verification has to take place. So, therefore, it has to be some from some sort of person, a living human being, no sort of robot, no sort of AI, no sort of bots. The person has to actually exist and can be proven to be a person that is alive or was alive. So therefore, there was some sort of paper trail and that paper trail lead to somebody. So therefore, this legal team and that artist is able to go to YouTube, go to Instagram, probably not TikTok because TikTok is ish. Go to Facebook and get all the relevant information as to who this person is behind this platform. So even if you use a third party to apply and sign up for you, unless that third party actually rates you so much that they are willing to take some sorts of legal lawsuit that is going to cost them monetarily and not snitch you out, call up your name and say who you are. You should know. So people, me just say, to be forewarned is to know. So therefore, I am just telling you what a little birdie tell me. And people, you and I know that based on what we see on social media, it was only always going to be inevitable that it was going to happen sooner or later. And people, do not feel that these people cannot get in contact with you. Don't feel like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, anybody is not going to give out the information when these lawyers contact them with the proper documentation, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.